So in my last video, I said I was gonna go ahead and check out some third-party Steam Deck docs, you know, and compare them to the official Steam Deck doc. And that's what we're doing in today's video right here. So I went ahead and picked up a budget option from Amazon, literally half the price of the official Steam Deck doc. And I decided to compare both and see, you know, how one stacks up against the other one. The main reason I decided to look outwards for a doc is because, you know, uh, with my kill switch case on the Steam Deck, it just wouldn't fit properly um, inside that little cutout, you know, uh, on the official dock. So I had to go out there and see if I can find something else that works well, because, you know, I can't use my Steam Deck without a case on. I'm sorry, and I can't be taking it off and putting it back on just to use the dock. So there's a few, you know, differences between both of them that you guys might want to note before you go ahead and decide, you know, which one will work best for you. First off, let's talk about what each one comes with. So um, if you decide to go for the Steam Deck official dock, you also get a 45 watt uh, power adapter, USB-C power adapter, but you already get that same cable you know, uh, when you get the Steam Deck, but some people are okay with getting an extra cable, but I'm sure others will prefer being able to choose that, you know, charger as an add-on uh, or just go with the dock um, by itself. That would also reduce the entire price, but with um, the third-party um, dock, you only get the dock itself. So no charging cable. So the way the official dock was built, you know, it's quite minimal, it's small uh, and more compact than the one from um, the Amazon brand. So that one's a little, you know, chunkier, a little, you know, um, bulkier. It just looks, you know, bigger. But when it comes to the weight, um, the Steam Deck uh, official dock has more weight. So it feels like, you know, it's got more quality. The other one feels a little bit more flimsy, you know, lightweight. And the build quality doesn't feel as, you know, uh, solid as the one from Steam. The official dock has also got a cutout with um, a rubber molded seat, you know, all across um, the entire bottom there. Uh, and that's good for, you know, reducing scratching. The problem with the cutout is it wasn't, you know, designed for use with um, cases on it. So it was cut out exactly to match the base of the Steam Deck. So that's been a problem, at least for me, because, you know, I've got a kill switch case on there and it just won't sit right. I don't feel safe, you know, with that thing sitting in there. But with the Amazon brand, it's got enough space for you to, you know, just sit it in there, even with the kill switch case on there. It's also got rubber seats, but not all across, you know, the entire bottom. It's just two little sections right there. And I don't know how well that's going to work, but I think it's going to be fine unless you're, you know, slamming your Steam Deck in there and just kind of, you know, scraping it across. Well, I don't know why you'd want to do that. Underneath the Steam Deck dock, um, we've got like the entire bottom there covered with a non-slip material to prevent it from moving all over the place. But with the Altry dock, we've only got like four rubber feet. So not the entire base being covered there. Now as for connectivity options, which is the main reason why you would pick up a dock, uh, we've got multiple options for both of them. The only difference between the both of them is the official dock comes with a DisplayPort 1.4 port, but the third-party dock does not come with it. So unless you plan on using multi-stream uh, transport, which will give you, you know, uh, multi-monitor support, then you honestly shouldn't really care about that. So we've got three USB 3.0 ports, you know, for all of your peripherals, like your uh, keyboard, mouse, you know, external hard drives and all of that. And that goes to both of the docks. Both docks also have HDMI 2.0 port that can output up to 4K at 60 Hertz. Something you wanna note is you can only get up to 4K at 60 Hertz when using the game mode, you know, um, interface. So when you're using that interface, when you're surfing through, you know, uh, what game you wanna play and all of that. But when you're in game, you can get up to 1920 by 1080p, which is HD. So you can't get that much, you know, when you're gaming on the deck itself, but you can get that much uh, when you're using the dock and both docks will give you that level of output. If you plan on getting that 1920 by 1080p resolution while gaming in docked mode, then you gotta go into each game's properties and then switch the resolution um, to native. So it's gonna be set to default by default, but you wanna have it on native, that way you can increase the resolution within the game. So, and the maximum you can get is 1920 by 1080, which is, you know, very good. But I warn you though, if you decide to go that route, then you gotta be ready for some reduced performance because higher resolution gameplay is gonna put, you know, a lot more pressure on your GPU, which is um, not that powerful to begin with. On both docks, we've also got a single USB-C port, which is, you know, intended for supplying power to the dock using the provided adapter. You know, if you decide to go for the official dock or, you know, using your own provided adapter, um, if you decide to go for the third-party dock. The final port on both docks is an RJ45 gigabit Ethernet port. So that will allow you to use wired internet connection, you know, with your Steam Deck, and it works great um, on both docks. So no issues there. So there's an angled USB-C cable that goes from both docks uh, to the Steam Deck. So the one that comes with the official Steam Deck dock 
does not work well or play nice you know with cases on there so i tried using it with the kill switch case and it did not work it didn't work it was you know i kept trying to get it to connect and stay right there but it just won't stay in there with the third party dock we've also got an angled cable but this time it's you know a lot better it works a lot better and you know with a case on without a case on it will work you know smoothly easily it connects uh, properly and without any issues at all. So I set up both docks with the Steam Deck and my um, TV in the living room and had no issues with, you know, scaling or things looking choppy and whatnot. But one more thing you want to note um, about the official Steam Deck dock is that it's supposed to come with an update for FreeSync, which is for AMD. Uh, if you don't know anything about FreeSync, it pretty much reduces tearing. It helps the GPU synchronize, you know, with the displays frame rate. But the update is not out yet, so I don't know how much that's going to impact or you know improve the steam uh dex official dock but right now honestly i'm seeing the third party dock looking a lot better it's a lot cheaper and you know it's got pretty much the same functions for someone that just wants to use um the steam deck dock casually the official steam deck dock is going for 119 canadian dollars or 89 us dollars so that's like i said including you know the power adapter as well the third party dock on the other hand is going for 55 canadian dollars or 25 to 30 um, US dollars. So pretty much half the price or even less than half the price of the official dock. So it depends on, you know, different budgets out there and how much you plan on using the Steam Deck dock that I would advise going for one or the other. You know, like if you don't plan on using the dock like crazy, you know, you have a PC or you have other consoles that you play on, then maybe just go for, you know, the budget friendly one, which will still give you what you need. Um, without all the extra multi-monitor support and all that stuff that you don't really care about. I need you guys to go ahead and comment down below which one of these docks, you know, you would pick if you had to pick one. If you had to choose one for your deck, which one would it be? But yeah, that's pretty much everything I've got for you guys in today's video. You can check down below for links to both products, but I will catch you guys in my next video. It's Tommy, and I'm out, y'all.